With this problem, we're going to find the pH of a salt solution, where the salt is sodium fluoride. Sodium fluoride uh, will dissolve in water, completely dissociate, to form the sodium ion and the fluoride ion. We know that sodium uh, will not affect the pH of the solution, so the only ion that we need to really that will affect the pH of the solution is fluoride. Okay, so when we put this in water, it'll have its equilibrium with HF. And OH minus. So just given this equilibrium, we would expect the pH to be basic because we have OH minus on the product side. So to find the pH of the solution, we need to use an ice table. So here we just have a general idea of what to expect for the pH to be basic. Now to actually calculate that, we need to use our ice table. And remember that in our ice table, we use concentrations. We're given the moles of sodium fluoride. We know that for every one sodium fluoride, we end up with one fluoride ion. And we have 500 mils of water that that's dissolved in. So we're going to have 0.1 moles of fluoride ion in 0.5 liters. That's going to end up being uh, 0.2 moles per liter. Okay, so I'll just do that. We can ignore water. We don't have any HF in solution initially, nor do we have any OH minus initially. Which means that for the change, we're going to have minus X on the reactant side for fluoride ion, plus X for HF, and plus X for OH minus. So at equilibrium, we'll have 0.2 minus x moles per liter of fluoride ion. We'll have x moles per liter of HF and x moles per liter of hydroxide ion. In the problem, we're given a Ka for HF. But given our equilibrium, we need the Kb value for fluoride ion because fluoride ion is our reactant in this case. So we can use Kw equals Ka times Kb in order to solve for Kb. And we'll be at uh, 25 degrees Celsius. So Kb in this case is equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 14 divided by our Ka for HF, uh, which is 7.2 times 10 to the minus 4. And we're going to end up with a Kb value of 1.4 times 10 to the minus 11. Now we can set up our equilibrium constant expression with Kb. So Kb 1.4 times 10 to the minus 11 is equal to the concentration of products. HF times OH minus divided by reactants, F minus. Okay, and we can plug in our equilibrium concentrations. It's X for HF and X for OH minus. We'll end up with X squared in the numerator. And for fluoride ion, we'll have 0.2 minus X. So, can we assume... that x is negligible in the denominator. If x is negligible in the denominator, then 0.2 divided by 1.4 times 10 to the minus 11 uh, will be greater than 1,000, and that is the case. Okay, You can actually calculate that out if you want. Um, but given the fact that it's 10 to the minus 11 in the denominator, this is going to actually be much greater than 1,000. So we can assume that x is negligible. So that simplifies our equation to 1.4 times 10 to the minus 11 equals x squared divided by 0.2.
If we multiply both sides by 0.2, we get 2.8 times 10 to the minus 12 is equal to x squared. And take the square root of both sides. And we'll find that x is equal to 1.7 times 10 to the minus 6. And this is equal to our, from the ice table here, our OH minus concentration and our HF concentration. We were asked to find the pH of the solution. Well, from our hydroxide ion concentration, we can find the pOH. That's equal to minus the log of 1.7 times 10 to the minus 6. And so our pOH is equal to 5.78. And we can find the pH by taking 14 minus the pOH and ending up with 8.22 for our pH. So this is a basic pH, greater than 7, we're assuming 25 degrees Celsius. And that's what we predicted uh, based on the fact that fluoride ion forms OH- in solution.